We just had our very first electric unicycle announcement of 2023. The 16-inch 126 volt veteran patent. This week, my 2023 wheel prediction, the significance of the veteran announcement to the EUC industry, and it may not be what you think it is, and why companies just can't seem to make the wheels you want. All that and more. Roll intro. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for even more EUC videos. Everyone loves the mythology of a long creative genius who envisioned a groundbreaking product and after years of tribulation finally introduced it to an amazed and adoring public. Unfortunately, that is not actually how innovation usually happens. Case in point, electric unicycle. Supposedly groundbreaking technology that was first released 20 years ago, which fell flat on its face immediately upon introduction. And somehow it was able to gain traction with no marketing and with product that is made by tiny, no-name Chinese companies making copies of copies. The fact that we have a beautifully designed electric unicycle with mind-blowing performances is probably the result of a confluence of random circumstances than any sort of a intentional act. The EUC companies will always build whatever they think will sell and the only way they have at gauging what may sell really well is what's actually selling right now. I want to put that out there first as a context to everything we're going to be talking about today. Since inevitably there's going to be someone in the comment section complaining about how the EUC company is once again ignoring the request from the EUC community about the wheel that we truly want. And the truth that I honestly believe in is that nobody, including the EUC companies themselves, have any clue as to what is that perfect wheel until it actually shows up in front of you and you get to touch, feel, and ride the thing. I mean, I made no secret of my own obsession with high-speed EUC performances, but yet when it comes down to it, I end up choosing the slower Sherman S as my own primary ride. Like, the hell, right? Because a product is more than simply a headline feature, but rather the sum of all its attributes, including perception of who it is that made it. For instance, the original veteran Sherman and its success was a huge driver in the development of many of the new wheels we saw in 2022 as companies compete to create the next EUC sensation. Top speed and performances was the lesson that they took away from, despite the fact that the original Sherman wasn't actually the fastest wheel at the time. And Lieberkind, the company that built the original Sherman, knew this better than anyone else. And you can see the result of their thinking in the form of the Sherman S, as well as how well it sold despite the stiff competition, many of which, let me remind you, are more powerful and faster. So would they be able to repeat their success with their latest release, the veteran patent. Well, but before that, let's first talk about the spiritual inspiration for the class of 2023. And it may come as a surprise to you, but it's a goat. <gasps> Well, honestly, not really a surprise. But Go consistently experiment and release far more variety of different kind of wheels than anybody else. Wheel like the M104 were the low key hit of 2022. Extreme compact size, surprisingly competent performances. It was interesting for very good reasons. But I think it was the T4 that really caught everyone's eye. The 100 volt 16 inch wheel combined with a modern Bago suspension design in a compact, lightweight, and super maneuverable package at roughly half the price of other flagship wheels made for a very convincing product and a very attractive first buy for someone looking to get into electric unicycle, which is precisely what every single company won in their lineup, that perfect high volume startup wheel to lock in customer loyalties right at the get-go. So 
Model 16 inch electric unicycle it is, right? Except it's not that simple. Let me tell you what you precisely should not do. The Bego A2, an 84 volt, 15 inch wheel with the performances of the N104 and special waterproofing technology as Bego's claims. Look, I don't know if Bego is aware of this, but the 84 volt performances on the M104 was only acceptable to everyone because it came in such an incredibly compact package. The design was decent, but honestly not something I would anchor the entire brand identity to. And that big round mini headlight only looked cute on a small wheel. That's how Bego went ahead and put it on the biggest wheel they have. A slow 15 inch wheel makes no sense in a Bego lineup since Bego is a performance EUC brand. And waterproofing, that's not some kind of special feature. That's what you're supposed to do to all your models. Show me a Master or EX30 that's properly waterproof. Not a 15 inch 84 volt wheel that nobody's gonna want. Give me a 100 volt M104 and a 134 volt T4 and now we're talking. As a matter of fact, now that everybody else including Veteran has moved on to 126 volt, I want to see Bego release a 150 volt electric unicycle. Sounds crazy, but higher voltage performance had always been the competitive advantage Bego relied on from the distance 100 volt Gotway era. And now that the performance gap had been reduced significantly, I mean we can now do 55 miles per hour on an Inmotion V13. What is is the selling point for Bego if they don't up their voltage and top speed. It's a tough position, I get it, but at the same time, I wouldn't count Bego out because they do have a track racker of coming up with zany but very attractive ideas and somehow still backing them up with solid engineering. I would not at all be surprised if they somehow managed to pull another surprising hit out of their back pocket if they release another 10 wheels. And speaking of Emotion V13, which admittedly certainly had had its problems and once again i'm lucky enough to not be affected in my initial demo testing it's all the more reason why i always recommend that you go with a solid dealer who's willing to back the product because unfortunately electric unicycle is still very much a bleeding edge tag and with initial batch one releases there's always going to be problems keep the faith in the end it's still a solid enjoyable riding wheel any motion the company i know do stand behind their product and if they watch this video please 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 be open with communication so everyone know what the fixes are. But back to the 2023 lineup. Emotion's also working on their own version of the 16 inch suspension design. And based on the information provided by my EUC ninjas, they are focusing their effort on updating their suspension design to that of a modern lever arm based suspension system, similar to that of the S22 and the suspension wheel from the GOAT but the fact that we have still yet to see any additional information is really starting to get me a bit worried. The traditional spring announcement and fall wheel release timeline that most electric unicycle companies follows really makes no sense to me whatsoever. Now it may not be obvious to those who are in bombing Shenzhen which gets no cooler than 50 degree in the dead of the winter their customer the majority of whom live in the northern hemisphere rides primarily in the summer and it has consistently been a bummer to everyone that they're not able to get the latest batch of wheels in their hand till fall and nearly at the end of their riding season at least there's one company that seems to understand our annoyance veteran leapican in a shockingly quick turn of event and just a short five months after the initial introduction of the veteran Sherman S. The veteran patent was announced and seems completely ready to go. Jack 
shout out to Electric Dream has already taken a crack at this wheel and I mean like literally trying to put a crack in it. A 126 volt 16 inch electric unicycle with 2200 watt hour worth of battery pack and based on very similar design construction as the Sherman S. First thing everyone freaked out on was the weight, 90 pounds. Listen, the 50 to 60 pounds electric unicycle you remember fondly were built out of plastic, not much better than children's toys. I am sure I was not the only one wondering if it seems like a good idea to pull 35 miles per hour on a plastic box and old school EUCs absolutely disintegrate when crash at high speed. Plus the demand from suspension design with its internal linkages, frame rigidity become absolutely crucial. As much as I want lighter weight, I am not willing to trade build and ride quality for it. Next, let's talk about its headline feature, 126 volt. Now, Veteran had repeatedly resisted the request to go up in voltage previous. Their rationale has always been that 100 volt provide enough performances while delivering much better efficiencies. And for the most part, it pans out with the design of the Sherman S. No one would argue that the performance of that wheel is lacking, especially with the latest update and the addition of the high-speed mode. I could also just hear the veteran engineers asking each other, who the heck needs to ride an electric unicycle at 50 miles per hour? <laughs> <laughs> but I also think that they have clearly seen the writing on the wall and that with every single one of their competitors now moving towards a 126 volt system, if they want to maintain their position as the seller of the premium high performance electric unicycle, then they have no choice but to similarly up the performance of their lineup. So I'm not at all surprised by the fact that they're releasing a 126 volt 16 inch electric unicycle, but I am surprised that they're doing it now. By all indication, the Sherman S was a successful product launch and sold very well. And Veteran Lieberkin is not a huge company, the smallest amongst the four electric unicycle maker. As a matter of fact, they were taken a bit off guard by how successful the original Sherman was and had to spend the subsequent year after the release that wheel barely trying to keep up with production to satisfy demand. And since they just released the Sherman S five months ago, I don't think anyone was expecting for them to move so quickly with the release of their follow-up and to do so before anyone else. The speed and timing of the patent release shows a level of confidence and ambition that I had never seen from veteran before and should scare every single other EUC companies on the block. As the premium high performance choice, the patent will likely be more expensive than any of the other 2023 suspension electric unicycle release, but that cost difference may not matter if none of their competitors had actually delivered a wheel for people to buy. I am guessing that there will likely be emergency meetings and motion and furious prototyping at Big Go and I have no idea what is even happening at King Sol anymore. Remember those guys? But what I do know is that it is always a good thing for us the consumer when a company calls everybody else out like this. And if the patent does turn out to be good and the early indication certainly sounds positive, then the 2023 UC race just got off to a very strong start. So are you excited about the veteran fatten or is it too heavy and too expensive? Well that is what the comment section below is for. And you know what? Once again I ramble on too low and somehow managed to waste another 15 minutes of your life but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love Electric Unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheel is to grow as a community. So tell your friend, teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you. Baltimore, Baltimore.
all around the world And your girl gets this message She ain't coming back She's sitting back in the room The lights is off She's crying And then my voice comes in In the middle of the night Say the last dance for me